I built a simple but awesome and super effective RSS feed scraper so that I could like store trending news articles in order to create social content from them. Because the algorithm and SEO loves when you create content off of current events and what's happening in the world around you. And basically, this entire system is designed to scrape trending news articles, summarize them and store them in a database like this. And this gives you complete control over the type of content you're making. So you can go ahead and select if you want to create Twitter content or LinkedIn content or content for blog or Instagram. And so I was making this for a client and it's really important that clients have control over what gets published. And so they can go in here and they can make changes to the copy. They can decide if they want uh, an image created for it with AI or not. And so this gives you total control over what gets created. And so let me show you how this works. Uh, I'm just going to clear everything out of here so there's no mistakes. So let's go ahead and clear this out. Let me just show you how this RSS scraper works. And it's really simple. All you do, just go ahead and click this button. You can set this to run on a schedule. You can run every morning. It's just scraping all the RSS feeds. I set a limit on this just to three because I didn't need to go through 500 of them. But you can see if we zoom in here that there are 195 items in this. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to grab the articles. And it's just going to summarize those articles and put them uh, in the Airtable database for us. And this is all part of my larger kind of like social media content machine. If you want to check out part one, where I show you how to use Telegram to research, uh, you know, trending news articles using URLs, text message and voice, I'll leave a link somewhere up here for you to check out. But today I really want to focus on this RSS feed automation because I think it's really simple and it's super, super powerful. So this is already done. If you come in here, you can see basically we have three uh, new news articles coming uh, from the RSS feeds based off of, you know, uh, criteria that we set. So basically our topic that we're talking about today uh, is, you know, cryptocurrency, but you can find RSS feeds based off of whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to find RSS feeds that'll work. Uh, RSS feeds, if you don't know, are basically just kind of like an aggregated list of news articles all centered around uh, a single topic. And so there's a lot of really good ones. Pretty much people have made RSS feeds that cover every single topic out there. So I bet you can find an RSS feed for yours. I'm going to show you how to do that. But you can see here, this basically kind of gives us a headline. This creates a summary. Uh, El Salvador has signed a memorandum. Uh, with Paraguay to collaborate on cryptocurrency regulation. So this is just for us to see like, okay, what's going on in the world today? If we want, we can click this button. We can go to the article itself. This is coming on Coindesk. You can go ahead and scroll down and you can read the article if you want. And the idea really is that we basically decide like, all right, maybe this is something that fits my personal brand that I want to talk about on social media. Like maybe I want to create like a Twitter post on this and I can go ahead and I can just set this to like uh, Twitter, right? And then the next automation would kick off and basically our Twitter social copy uh, would get written for us. If we decide that we want AI to generate an image, we can just come in here and say, yes, we want an image generated with this post. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Uh, so let me just show you how the system works. It's really simple. Uh, again, you can change this to scrape as many articles as you want. Like we want, we can change. I just have this limit set on three. Like we could, we could set this to 50, right? We can do this for 50 articles. Um, I'm going to keep this low uh, right now. We, we don't need to go through all that, but let, why don't we do 10, right? Because uh, because that'll work for us. So let me just clear everything out here. And basically, let me walk you through, um, you know, how this is set up in, in NNN. So just zoom in a little bit over here. And so basically, this just kicks off with the schedule trigger, right? Uh, if you want to set this up for yourself, you can just come over here. You can add another trigger. Uh, if you go down here, there is a on a schedule trigger right here. And basically, this just runs on a set schedule. And so for social media, you could have this run every morning and it would check kind of like what news articles are happening right now. Uh, and you can see I just have this set to days. Once a day, you can trigger this at midnight if you want. We could trigger this at like 6 a.m., which is maybe like a more like relevant time for news or maybe 8 a.m. Uh, you know, for news might be a good time, right? Uh, and so basically all this does is this automation kicks off and basically all we have here is just like a little code block. This is a really simple piece of code and you can see that we just have kind of like these uh, URLs or I think they're called XMLs uh, for RSS feeds. And these are basically just a bunch of, you know, Coindesk, Cointelegraph, uh, Bitcoin Magazine, right? These are basically just uh, aggregated feeds of like news sources that are talking about cryptocurrency. Uh, and so basically it'll just search every single one of these feeds and pull in all the articles. Like literally, if we just click test step here, it's going to search all of these feeds and literally in a couple seconds, it kind of like pulls these feeds in here and we can send these uh, to the RSS feed uh, reader. And basically it's going to read through every single one of those feeds and then it's going to go ahead and grab the actual articles for them. Uh, this loop over item thing is basically what it's going to do. It's going to take the first RSS feed and it's going to scrape all the articles and then it's just going to kind of like do this again. It's going to scrape the second RSS feed, third, fourth. You can put however many you want in here. I just have 10, maybe like three is better for you. Uh, it's really up to you. But once it's kind of scraped everything in that list and then it's going to move on to the next step. All I did was just like drag and drop this feed over here and the feed is just the XML uh, 
you know, that's going to come in one at a time and it's going to just grab the news articles. So basically I just have this if statement after that. And basically I just set this up to look for articles that are within like three days. So they're super current, right? So basically all I did was just pass in uh, the RSS read, um, the publish date, which you don't actually see here because we haven't scraped anything. So let me just run this through once so we actually have a little bit more data to look at. I'm just going to test this and you can see here, this goes and scrapes the RSS feed, it loops over these items. You can see the RSS reader now is actually going through all of these items. It's going really quickly. Uh, but you can see here we have like titles of these articles. We have links to them. We have the entire content from these articles. We'll have a published date and things like that. And so now if we come up here and we look in this if statement, right? Basically, all of these are, are recent. Every single one of the items is within the last three days. Uh, so that's great. Everything's super current. But this is just a little formula that we use to drag the publish date, which is the pub date here. You just drag this in here. Um, and I found that you have to put in this dot first, uh, parenthesis, parenthesis. This way, it's just going to grab the first output uh, by that node. Just make sure that it's grabbing the right thing. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. Um, and so basically what it's going to do now is it just takes this, again, I limited this to 10 uh, for the sake of this, but it's basically just going to go through one at a time. And it's going to, if I just go show data here, it's going to scrape every single one of the articles that comes through. So this is scraping 10 articles in HTML format. Uh, which is a lot. Uh, and then it's just converting it to Markdown here. And so I just use Markdown because it simplifies the structure HTML. You can see how bulky that is. Markdown is still bulky, but it, it actually is less so. And so when you're passing this to something like ChatGPT to read and summarize, uh, it's going to just save you on tokens used. It's going to be it's just going to be cheaper for you to run, essentially. And so from here, what this is doing is just grabbing this. And I have a little prompt in here. Uh, it just says you're a helpful intelligence summarizer assistant. Your task is to identify the main body text of the article and create a detailed summary of its context, uh, of its contents. Identify any key subjects or themes and the main topic of the article. Summary should be no more than a thousand characters. Do not include any extra words or phrases like summary of article or the article discusses. Um, and then here I just fed it in the data that's coming from this markdown node. And it's just going to go through one at a time, read those articles, and then just create the summary. And you can see we have these kind of 10 items in this array here. Uh, just kind of that summarizes every single one of these articles. So this is about the SEC issuing guidance regarding meme coins. This is something about Ethereum's recent price drop, right? You may care about this or not. Uh, but again, you could set this up for your topic. Uh, and then we're just going in here and I'm just setting these fields in a JSON uh, to make sure that we have this structured output because there's a couple things I want to grab so that it sits nicely in our Airtable database. And so if we come in here, you can see I'm just grabbing the summary, uh, which is coming out of uh, you know the summarizer and then I'm just coming down and grabbing the source URL and the source headline, uh, which is coming from this limit field. You can see we have uh, the title here, which is just becoming this uh, source headline. And then we have the link here, which is becoming the source URL. So you can just go ahead. You can drag and drop these in here uh, to get kind of these. You can see we have the link here that just popped up. Uh, but we want this JSON format because this is kind of how we have things set up in Airtable. And so when you get the output, you can see we have the source summary, the source URL, and the source headline. So that when we save these in Airtable, we can kind of match these columns. And the last thing that happens is basically we just kind of like store these all uh, inside of Airtable. So we have the headline, the summary, and then the source URL field down here. And I just have the status as waiting for content. Uh, which is really great because now we can kind of go in here. You can see this is saved, all 10 of these. And basically, if you come all the way uh, to the right here, we have this waiting for content. And so this basically means that uh, it's waiting for our social media content to be written. And so once we go ahead and we select which social channels we want to write for, the next automation will kick off. It's going to run uh, and create copy for us for whatever kind of um, you know social channels we select. Again, we can select Twitter. Uh, we could select Instagram. Or, you know, we come down here, we can select Twitter and LinkedIn and a blog, right? You can select all of these if you want. And the AI agent is smart and it's going to kind of know, um, you know, what you want to create content for. And it's going to create content for all of these. And I said I was going to show you how to get an RSS feed. It's actually really easy. You can come into Claude or ChatGPT or whatever you want. And basically, you can just ask it. Um, you can say, give me some RSS feeds that talk about the topic. And we could say uh, artificial intelligence, because obviously we are all about that. Artificial intelligence, make sure they are, make sure they have content that's been posted. Typos, been posted recently. So if we just go ahead and click enter, this is basically just going to search. It's going to find some RSS feeds that are relevant for you, like MIT Technology Review, VentureBee, Google AI Blog, right? You can see they basically have either this uh, slash feed or .xml at the end. And if you want, you can just open these up and 
So you can see this one's not found. Um, that's okay. Let's see if this MIT one's found. This is what we're looking for. Something that looks like this, basically, right? You can scroll down. You can see we have this huge feed of information. So what you would do is you would basically just come in here and you would just copy this link. Uh, we can come in here and we can do copy link address. And you would just come back into um, your RSS feeds here and you would just go ahead and you can replace any one of these articles uh, with the, the, the new RSS feed. So that's basically how to set this up. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch this video up here where I go over this AI social copywriter agent, which is going to take all the posts that we kind of stored inside of our Airtable database. And it's actually going to write content for all of our social media channels. I'll see you over there.